talking to diet therapist Mandy Carlin today. Hi, Mandy. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Joanne. And you? Very well, thank you. Mandy, today we're talking about tips that can help us control our appetite. Can you name a couple of tips that can help us, you know, control our appetite? So, Anne, I think if you eat a healthy, fresh, unprocessed diet and the right balance of the five food groups, you really should not feel hungry or have cravings. By cutting out fatty and sugary foods, your blood sugar levels will be stable and cravings won't occur. Also, people often mistake hunger for thirst, which is why drinking plenty of water is so important. Always have a glass or two of water or tea or coffee if you are feeling really hungry and it is not meal time or you have recently eaten. If you are still hungry after this, eat sensibly and try to make the right food choices. Protein is always a good food choice as it's more filling than the other food groups. And I also try and teach my clients to do the 0 to 5 method where 0 is starving and 5 is not so hungry. And try and gauge when you're feeling hungry, where are you on that scale? If you are starving, say to yourself, when did I last eat? Um, if it was more than two or three hours ago, Possibly you are very hungry. If it was 20 minutes ago, you know you've just eaten. Wait for your meal to digest and revisit it. Try and distract yourself by doing something else. Um, or as I say, have a glass of water. And if all else fails, brush your teeth, as nothing tastes good after having toothpaste in your mouth. In your attempt to, to lose weight, do you think that it's good to keep a food diary, a food journal. Absolutely. It's essential because so many people think they eat well, they think they eat a little, but when you write it down and it, you actually see it in front of you, it all adds up and it's the most effective tool in losing weight. I say to my clients, if they can fill in their food diary every day, they don't actually need to come and see me. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thanks, Joanne.